Did you know that the moon has an atmosphere? Um, no. No, it doesn't. Well, technically, it does. Hmm. Hey, curious kids. Kevin here. Today, on a place called space, we are talking about does the moon have an atmosphere? We got two different answers here. Well, an atmosphere is when gravity holds down a layer of gases around a body like a planet or a moon, an asteroid or a comet, it's essentially a blanket of gases that's cuddling the planet. Now, Earth has one. It allows us to live and breathe because it's 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. We breathe the oxygen. Now, Mars has one too, but it is 100 times thinner than Earth's and it's 95% carbon dioxide, not breathable for humans. If a place does have an atmosphere, there isn't a specific line where it ends and space starts. It just kind of blends into space. All right, now on to the moon. To have an atmosphere or to not have an atmosphere? That is the question. So yes, the moon does have a small, thin blanket of gases around it. It is 10 million million times thinner than Earth's. It is an extremely teeniest atmosphere. Teeniest means flimsy, weak, slight, not really there. So it's basically a vacuum. We have detected trace amounts of gases near the surface. Now the astronauts from the Apollo 17 mission brought with them an experiment called LACE, the Lunar Atmosphere Composition Experiment. Now, LACE detected small amounts, really small amounts, of hydrogen, helium, argon, neon, ammonia, methane, and carbon dioxide. Since then, scientists have been using some Earth-based observations to also detect sodium and potassium. We don't have those in our atmosphere. But remember, 10 million million times thinner than Earth's. And by thinner, I don't mean size, like one centimeter versus like a kilometer. Thinner here means less dense, less tightly packed. Like if you took all of the air out of a room, the room is still there, but there's no air inside. So that density is lower or smaller, thinner. Now the atmosphere on the moon is constantly being lost and then replenished. So first off, where does it come from? What creates the atmosphere? Well, some of it comes from outgassing of radioactive decay of the crust and mantle. What does that mean? Well, basically, some stuff is getting old and it's giving off gas as it ages. Now, some comes from the bombardment of micrometeorite impacts or comets that are hitting the surface and that causes the crater and that gives us some of the atmosphere. Now, some of it also comes from the solar wind, the particles that the sun shoots out, <laughs> and some of it comes from sunlight in a process called sputtering, where the sun's energetic particles hit the surface, and then particles of the surface are ejected. So that creates the atmosphere. So basically, right, it's like the moon dirt, which we call regolith, is where some of it comes from, and then the rest of it comes from other places, like the sun brings it in, or things that hit the moon. Now, how is it lost? Well, some of it is re-implemented into the regolith, aka the moon dirt, by gravity. It pulls it back in. Some of it leaves the moon because it's traveling fast enough, so when it gets ejected, it could be going, which you only need to go, 2.38 kilometers per second, or 1.48 miles per second to leave the surface of the moon, or it's lost out into space by solar radiation pressure or the solar wind, carrying it away. The moon may also have a dust atmosphere or what some call a moon fountain. This is where it looks still, but it's actually in constant motion. We see a similar thing with water here on Earth under certain conditions. Now, this dust fountain, this moon fountain, is a phenomenon called electrostatic levitation. And it could be three to 30 centimeters thick of constantly moving dust, but that way it's not solid, you would just go into it. 
I think that's super neat. All right, let's go way back to like three to four billion years ago. The moon is believed to have had a thicker atmosphere, about one and a half times that of current Mars, due to substantial volcanic activity. Yep, there used to be active volcanoes on the moon. Now, the thicker atmosphere lasted for about 70 million years, and some claim it may, may have been able to support aliens. Aliens on the moon? Maybe, but you know, probably not. Now on to trivia. The answer to last week's question of who was the first woman in space is B. Valentina Tereshkova. Tereshkova. I'm not that great at pronouncing Russian names. This week's question is, what is the largest moon in our solar system? Is it A, our moon, B, Titan, C, Ganymede, or D, Phobos? Tune in next week to get your answer. Always be curious.